Nine-time world champion Valentino Rossi's future is the subject of a lot of discussion, and many believe that he is on the cusp of retiring from MotoGP. In the past, Rossi has expressed his interest in racing cars, and at one point even tested with Ferrari's F1 team. He has now reiterated those interests, while Antonello Coletta, Ferrari's head of GT Sports Activities, has revealed if there is any chance of Rossi racing for their upcoming hypercar racing program. I'm your host, Dylan Shelley, and first up on Moto World, is Rossi joining Ferrari's Le Mans hypercar project? Rossi began by reaffirming his wish to race cars once his MotoGP career comes to an end. Like I always said, when I finish with the MotoGP, I want to race with the cars. I have some experience with rally because I'm a rally fanatic. I did also a world championship event. He, however, feels that rallying will be too difficult. But for me, rally at the end is difficult because it's very demanding, and I want to race on a circuit because I like it more. He then looked at GT3 as a possible option. I have experience racing with GT3. That is an important and interesting category because it has a lot of different factory cars from Ferrari to Porsche to Bentley to Aston Martin and everything. So I think I will race with that type of car when I stop with the MotoGP. He also laid out the possible options in front of him. But I don't know in which championship. There are different championships, the Endurance Championship, the Le Mans 24 hours, but I hope to race somewhere there. Antonello Coletta, Ferrari's head of GT Sports Activities, however, feels that endurance racing might not be Rossi's cup of tea while speaking to Gazzetta della Sport. With all due respect, I believe he is older than the current endurance drivers and will be facing some fierce opponents. It is as if one of our drivers suddenly decided to race on a motorcycle. He signed off by suggesting that Rossi might be better off taking part in GT racing. Valentino has fun with the GTs. Maybe he could try in that class at Le Mans. We think we already have plenty of driver choices for the hypercar and will choose from the emerging young talents. Fast feed. Suzuki's Alex Rins has explained that if you pay attention to the phone, you don't pay attention to the cars or the street, referring to the cycling crash he had in Catalonia. He added that he prefers to hit a van, as he did, than to hit a person. It would have been even worse, so this was a clear example. He also revealed that since Saxon Ring, where they went back to the setup they were using last year, he has been feeling quite good. Retired MotoGP champion Kevin Schwantz has speculated that maybe Maverick Vinales will return to Suzuki. KTM Motorsport boss Pitt Byra has explained that they had so many ups and downs together, but a moment never arrived where they were doubting us, or where we were never doubting these two boys, he added, referring to their riders Brad Binder and Miguel Oliveira. He accepts that they trusted their own system one year earlier than they wanted in the beginning, and he's so happy they did it. LCR Honda's Takaki Nakagami has reflected that every race he's aiming to get the podium, of course. He further pointed out how before the Assen race, he felt it was a great opportunity, and in the beginning of the race, he was P3, behind Banyaya and fighting for the podium. But this time again, no, the mistake. He is also hopeful that Honda understand how difficult it is for them, and hopefully they need to improve the bike. This is so difficult to make a strategy in the race. Yamaha team director Massimo Maragalli really wanted a better package for 2021, faster and more consistent. He can say that they have been able to achieve both things because they have been able to win races in fast tracks, but also circuits like Assen where you need turning. He also feels that his rider Fabio Quattararo's performance is very strong and consistent because he's also been on the podium in the wet, which is probably not his favourite circumstance. Aprilia's Aleix Espargaro is of the opinion that after many years here in Aprilia, all the engineers really believe in his talent, his job, in everything he says to them. So, they really know that right now their limitation is the engine. And Ducati's Pecco Bagnaia feels that this year the level of Moto2 is very high. Marco Bazzecchi is doing a really great job. Should Valentino Rossi race in the 24 hour of Le Mans after retiring from MotoGP? Head over to my community page to vote in the poll and let me know what you think in the comments. And if you liked this video, feel free to subscribe and check out my others for all the latest in the world of MotoGP.